So this is our 1998 Wander Lodge LXI 43, and we're gonna give a quick walkthrough and show how some of the functions work and give you a, a quick tour. A lit handle and uh, a key, a keypad outside to get in when you lock your keys inside. Um, here's the deadbolt, and there's an airlock at the top of the door, so when you're in transit, the door is secure. Uh, as you can see on the outside, there's four bay doors here and on the other side. We'll quickly show these before we're out of daylight. It's a little damp because we just uh, rinsed off the dust from it, but these are called joey beds. Joey like a kangaroo, and they slide out. That's an add-on. So you don't have to reach in and break your back getting your luggage out. Here's an extra couple carpets we keep there to wipe our feet before we go in. There's electric barbecue here. There's two chairs here, fold-out chairs, plus two additional chairs there. And behind the fridge freezer, the deep freeze, there's some leg rests also that match. What we've done um, here, you see we took the electric barbecue out and we added a propane smoker grill barbecue oven it's called a holland grill and that hooks directly up to the propane tank the big tank on board and there's a stand that uh, is on the base of that and the legs are over here so it can come outside away from the coach so you can do your barbecuing your cooking safely away from the the uh, vehicle and this can do either fridge or freezer there's bay lights so i switch all of those to led and those will shut off automatically when the doors come down or you can manually shut them off. So once they're all on, as soon as the door comes on, they'll all light up too. Here's the cockpit. Uh, we've got lights on, buzzer, lights off. Here's the rear camera video so you can see what's going on behind you. It's got a tape and a CD changer. So I uh, radio it off now, but there's a subwoofer behind the seat. There's four um, Bose speakers in the main cabin area for some surround sound. And those also tie into the um, television system when that's hooked in. Come back. Uh, as you can see, well, maybe you can't, the miles are at 52,999 currently. And uh, it's a six-speed Allison World transmission. Behind here, there it's amplifiers and some things, cup holders. There's a CB radio in here. Also, uh, you'll notice that the controls over here. This is a transmission control on this side, and there's the automatic leveling over here. It's a very simple system. You really don't need to do much except for push the button once and then twice, and you're gonna level. And we have daytime and nighttime blinds. The front also has a full blind drop down. Also, uh, a curtain that velcros in for a blackout up front, too. So, you have that. This side, all the windows will come down so you can make it nice and dark in here. These are sun visors for when the sun's setting or rising. Mm -hmm. You've also got um, some storage and uh, electronics uh, up here, and a book of your songs that you can play over the loudspeaker, about 100, well, 99 songs there, controlled up front. Right now we have all the um, regular 12-volt lights on, and half of the lights in the coach have been, have remained 12-volt, and the other half are switched to LED. So when you're trying to save power, you'll just run the LEDs. So you can see there, there's LEDs there. Different color lights, uh, LEDs I've put in the kitchen also. On both sides. So if you want to turn down the regular bulbs, you can run on uh, pretty low power that way. I put LEDs in these pocket lights also. 
it's got a Detroit Series 60 diesel straight six with uh, 500 horsepower. I've done some upgrades to the turbo and the exhaust, which cost about 10,000, um, and that brings me another 50 horsepower estimated, and we get uh, better miles per gallon than we would have uh, in normal circumstances. So uh, I didn't mention, but the front seat is an air ride seat, so very comfortable. This is a swivel. Um, passenger seat that turns around and faces and the legs come out and so it's kind of like a little recliner also. This comes out along with this. So this can be one side of a, a bed so you can walk through. You can pull them both out so it's one big platform area for sleeping and two adults can sleep there. This table will come down and turn into a small bunk for children and you also have a lot of storage and cabinets in this particular layout and we'll get to that in a, a minute. This is pretty standard what you're seeing here. Um, it's got a trash slider, it's got a garbage disposal. Not all uh, Wander Lodges came with a disposal. Um, here's the sink. Both sides here. This is Aqua Hot. Sorry. This is Insta Hot here. And an extendable um, and then an extendable faucet. Drawers. This is the water pump. It's on now. And you can start the generator from here or up front. You push the button and there it goes. Shut it down from here. You'll also, well, we'll start it up again. When it's running, you're able to run the uh, you're able to run the stove top and you can put the water pump on and get your dishes done there's garbage disposal there's an engine heater and the consta hot or insta hot here's the water tank levels pure gray is at 2 waste is at 3 so you can test your different levels here. The pure tank is 180 gallons. The gray and the waste are each 90. Okay, so here's the stove top. Um, it did create quite a bit of heat a few times and there's a slight bit of warping here and, discol and discoloration over the countertop surface, the Corian, but it still functions as it should. All right, there's the uh, left side heating up. I'm not gonna touch it, but you can see it turning red. Turn that off, here's the right side. Coming hot. All right, off. So remember to let that cool before you shut the cover. The microwave here. It's also a convection oven, so you can bake or microwave with that. There is quite a bit of storage here. Spice racks, cans in here. This is a toaster plugged in back there. The systems have to be on for the toaster to turn on. So just make sure that when you're trying to toast or cook that you have your power switches on and um, when you're trying to run the oven, or when you're trying to run the stove, have the uh, generator on or have it plugged in to shore power. And one more down here. These curtains also are day-night curtains. Depending on which side you pull, that'll be day, obviously. Oh, great. And that would be night. Now I'll be pulling up both. Here's, I don't have the fridge plugged in, but here's the Fisher and Paykel fridge and freezer. Uh, these couches both have a, a tab down here in the middle. You pull and then just lift up and out to open and close these. Same on this side, the tab is just here and it's a little bit of a a pull up, but it comes out the same, and then you have one big 
bed bed surface. Plenty of storage here and here and here. Along with underneath on both sides pots and pans, whatever you need. Four people can sit in the booth and others can eat up front if needed. So come on back through the hall. You can see there's a bunk here, which is a very rare option on these Wander Lodge LXIs, along with a lot of storage. This is for the bunk there at the booth table. There's also a rack up top for your hangers. You see that? I've got LEDs up here also. These doors can come off and a mattress can be fitted in here to create a second bunk. So you'd have a lower and upper bunk if you needed the sleeping space. There's storage below here and here along with cabinets here and in the master on the other side of the pocket door. There's a pocket door here which allows privacy in the bathroom and a pocket door here so you're able to shower while other people are still in the coach with some privacy. The restroom is um, separate also by a door. You can come in here and do your thing and get the fan going. Plus there's a skylight here. There's a storage here. And also here and here and here. You've got plenty of storage. These lights are also on a dimmer switch and LEDs also in the bathroom. This is the third sink. There's the kitchen sink, the restroom sink, and the main bathroom sink. There's a dimmer switch here and there's an automatic fan. You can hear that turning on and you can either switch it up or down depending on if you want to pull air in or pull air out. And there's a rain sensor up there also so it will shut automatically when it starts to rain. So closing that again. There is a sun roof here also, or a skylight. there's also a skylight here. There's also a skylight in the kitchen. There's a sunroof at the front of the bus. There's two AC units in the front half. This is a standard fan so you can run just fresh air if you're not running, running AC and you just want to get some air moving. The furnace and the air conditioners are operated here. The three different zones are operated here, one, two, and three, front, middle, and rear. And once you have that on, you'll come to the front and flip on the AC unit. It's now blowing. So you can see that that's blowing pretty good. The AC units work along with the front driver AC. I can switch off the front and move to the middle. That one just turned on here. Okay, they both go cold. And there's the uh, shower. As you can see, storage behind here. Water pump turns on here. So here's our water, water pump switches on. You see you've got flow here. You've got water here. Hot and cold. The hot water will run off the Detroit, the aqua hot, or being plugged in. So you can have three different ways to get hot water. Here's the Micro Four toilet, flushing. It's air and water driven, shower, works great, this comes down, this is for 
hot and cold. Just an LED up here. So there's the kitchen sink, extendable, or spray here, the button on the top. Garbage disposal. On. This is the password for the Wi-Fi Ranger. There's a Ranger that boosts Wi-Fi signals from anywhere. You plug it in underneath the table here. Um, that allows you to get RV Park or McDonald's or the library, wherever you are. You send the antenna up and you can get your uh, free internet that way. Come on back again. Lock up there for the shower door. More storage underneath here. There's heaters, baseboard heaters, electric, and also radiator and aqua hot heated. So there's different ways to heat the coach that way. The aqua hot will heat the floor and these radiators throughout the coach underneath the floors with hot water. These will be run off electric here, here, and in the bedroom. So when you're plugged in or when you have the genset going, you can run the furnaces. So the rear AC is blowing nice and cool here. You can see that fan. If you shut these louvers, it pushes the air out of the sides at these vents here and there and there. And the same thing happens up front. You can push the air out the sides doing the same thing. Under the bed, there's a safe and the schematics and all the paperwork. There's plenty of cabinetry around. Here, here, below on both sides, above. And then you've got lights here for both sides for reading. We put new blinds in the rear. These are the days. These are the nights. And there's also LEDs back here in half of the ports. So you can switch to LEDs to save power. The closet is here. And it's cedar lined. And you've got plenty of room for all of your things there. More storage here. Another furnace vent down below. This TV is plugged in but not hooked up to anything right now. We removed the old CRTs from here and the front. The one in the front is just an empty space where I keep my hats currently. One tent outlets on both sides of the bed for charging your phone or your computer. So those black 110 outlets. We had a um, opportunity to rent this out to The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and he really liked it. So uh, there's our little claim to a famous Wander Lodge for a minute. So we just cleared all the water out of the Wander Lodge. Uh, opened those two valves there. That's hot and cold water from the aqua hot. And then Hold this to release all the fresh water from the tanks. Emptied the gray and the black water. And then on the other side, next to the barbecue, there's another valve for the secondary fresh water. That's also been opened and dumped out. These lines have all been purged. And these are the controls, by the way, for the waste and gray and the water pump and when you're filling the fresh water that goes up and that's pretty much it here's the dump station there's an elbow back there and the hose is in here there's also propane and gas on both sides fill uh, from either side so these 
black and gray water tanks are pneumatics, air driven. And so you have to have air pressure to get those to dump. Okay. All right, so one thing that we're gonna do is turn on the aqua hot just to verify to anyone who's uh, watching the video for future reference. It is August 15th and um, I have a watch to show that, but it is uh, 2018 and uh, we're heading to Hawaii now and uh, before we leave we'll show the aqua hot working. So here's hydronic heat there. Turn that on, the light comes up. The light comes on, it takes 30 seconds to prime. You can hear it either through an open window, sometimes if you're standing near the midsection of the coach, you'll hear it. So you come down here, you listen carefully, and you see that smoke. Can you see the smoke? That guy? Uh, yeah. See that smoke? That's the diesel that just lit off. It's coming out real hot. Can you see it on my hand? So that's the aqua hot fired now. You hear a little bit of that sound. You come over here behind this panel. You can kind of quietly hear that fan blowing, pushing through the furnace. It's hot here. So there's the aqua hot running. That heats up the water for the inside. All right, well, I just shut off the aqua hot. Just wanted to show um, turning it on. It's as simple as pushing that button. It gives you the radiant heat through the floors, also hot water for your showers, your sink, and uh, also will heat the heaters to uh, keep you warm uh, for the, the little air blown. The, the, the non-electric heaters are also uh, get, get, they also receive their hot water through the aquat system. So occasionally, um, for one, re are you still filming? Yeah. Occasionally, for some reason or another, you might have to cycle the button twice. That's happened a few times where you'll turn it on and you won't hear the sound of the fire or you won't see any diesel exhaust burning at the very uh, instant it, it fires after the 30 second priming. There's a little bit of smoke to start off. Um, if that doesn't happen, just shut it off. Um, I'll just shut off the AT switch here and then turn it back on and then hit the aqua hot button again and it will come up the second time but that's uh, not that common it happens from time to time but um, that's the security switch that shuts off everything so if things aren't working AT switch might not be flipped on or the electronic master Will, will be off from time to time if you're shutting it down and uh, if that's not back on a lot of your systems won't work either I like the so, stairs <clears throat> so also that will uh, if that's not on your stairs will never pull up after you've aired up either so that's always got to be on it before you can drive air pressure when the okay. it's a 95 right now um, if you don't have enough air pressure, your suspension won't be up. You'll hear your warning that you don't have air, a little red light um, will tell you you're, you're not uh, aired up enough to go anywhere. So um, watch that gauge and make sure you've got your air up and you'll hear you're ready to go as soon as that step pulls in. The air reaches a certain pressure, the step will pull in, you'll hear it close, then you're ready to move.